In this question, we have three beakers, each containing a solution of copper two chloride, and we're putting a piece of metal in each, and we're looking for which ones will have a reaction occurring, so something that's spontaneous. Now, we're in the redox section. It would be implied that we're looking for a spontaneous redox reaction. So let's list the pieces that are involved. We know that we've got copper plus two from the copper chloride solution. We've got chloride minus one ion from the copper chloride solution. And then we're going to have zinc, silver, and nickel as possibilities. Putting them in order from the table, we know that chlorine plus two electrons gives us chloride ions is found at the top of the table at plus 1.36 volts. Silver is found at plus 0 0.80 volts. Copper plus two, now be careful because there's also copper plus one on the table, but we are dealing with copper plus two based on the compound you've got listed. And it is at plus 0 0.34 volts. Nickel. And that's sitting at negative 0 0.26 volts. And finally, zinc. We've already learned that for a spontaneous reaction, we need the reduction reaction to be on top. And we need the oxidation reaction to be on bottom. And this gives us that sort of a backslash approach when we're looking at things. So let's look at the species involved and see what could possibly fill that role. We have chloride ions. We have silver metal. Now we have copper plus two ions, nickel metal, and zinc metal. I can see right away that the chloride and the silver are not going to work. They're both going to be oxidizing and we would need something reducing above it and we don't have it. So I'm going to cross those off of our list right away. I do see copper plus two ion above nickel. That's giving us the right direction for this to work. I also have copper above the zinc also giving us the right direction for this to work. So I would say that the zinc beaker and the nickel beaker would show a reaction.